At home before this journey, we uploaded COVID-19 vaccination record through Princess's Medallion Class app while filling out some entry questionnaires required by both the cruise liner and Australian government. This is our tour route. It seems it rains a lot in Sydney, at least when we were there. I brought rain jacket though. The Princess shops are closed on the embarkation day because they are only open on sea days not on port days. Coral Princess is a relatively small ship in the Princess fleet. The atrium is a small one unlike big ships such as Majestic Princess or Sky Princess. The larger Princess ships each has a grand atrium, which they proudly call Piazza. The medallion speeds up embarkation, unlocks stateroom doors, enables payment and so much more. Here is the interior of a mini suite. It's quite roomy for a cruise vacation. The balcony in mini suite is larger than that of regular balcony stateroom. The bed can be configured to be a queen bed or two tween beds. The princess's website has a page letting you tell your choice. I think you may let your travel agents help you with that. I booked the entire seacation through princess directly though. Even though just about every passenger has met the vaccination requirement by the cruise company, everyone still is asked to wear a face mask. Particularly on elevators everyone is required to have face mask on. We rarely used elevator on board. We did use elevator once that was when we carried our suitcases from our cabin floor to deck 6 to leave the ship the morning of the disembarkation. That's it. We instead walked up or down the stairs on board the ship. The staircases were kind of empty and it feels safe. It's not like we have done too much of walk anyway, haha. Ha. Dining experience on Coral Princess is very similar to Majestic Princess or Sky Princess. Food choice are similar. And because COVID-19 related health measures put in place, when you're going to a dining place with face mask on and wash hands at the door. Take off the mask only when you are eating. For the last day of the cruise vacation, we booked in advance a shore excursion, an eight-hour debark tour named Spectacular Blue Mountains. Unfortunately, that shore excursion was cancelled due to not having enough people signing up to participate. The cruise ship shore excursion desk offered Sydney hop on hop off, city sightseeing on double decker bus, also known Big Bus. We enjoyed the bus tour. One of the big buses stop is near the iconic Sydney Opera House. While on the hop on hop off tour, we purchased four park combination admission. We stayed in a hotel very close to Darling Harbour, just a few minutes of walk to three of the sites listed on the four park admission.
We enjoyed walking and walked from our hotel to Sydney Tower, then to Queen Victoria Building. Walked a lot in the city of Sydney.